Hey, it's your old buddy Microchip here, and this is exciting. This is Trains 2019 Platinum Edition. But this is C&O Hidden Division. Uh, this is a map that comes with, uh, when you buy 2019, I believe it's probably still in 2022. Uh, I don't know. I don't own that. But here is the yard at Hinton. I've been playing this uh, route for a while. Uh, my last series, which I'm still going to do, by the way. I'm still doing Tidewater. Uh, but my last series, I started out with nothing. And then I built it. This one I've been playing for a while, working out some bugs. Uh, you know, getting the track and, and adding some things. And getting the track where I want, the way I want it. And blah, 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 blah. But uh, so we're going to start in the middle of it. But it's still going to be just as exciting, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, so c &O Hinton is set back in the 1940s, 1950s, so it's going to be mostly steam. Uh, there are some diesel, but very few. Uh, in fact, I did a little bit of research, and I found out that uh, back then they did have diesels, but most uh, rail companies and railroad unions did not want them because they were afraid that it was going to steal jobs, which eventually it did because it takes a lot more people to run a steam engine than it does a uh, uh Diesel, when it, especially when it comes to maintenance, which is eventually why they got rid of the steam because the diesels were much easier to take care of. So this is the yard at Hinton right here. Uh, we can see we got some stuff going on here. Uh, a bunch of cars in the yard waiting to go wherever. I got it all written down. I know where they're all going. Here are some lovely, lovely steam engines. My my local sound was a little loud. I had to turn it down. Sorry. Uh, so here are some uh, steam engines that brought in things uh, that we are uh, that are just now waiting to export things back out. Here's a couple more here. Uh, these two here are over the ash pits, and they are dumping their ash uh, into the ash pits. And eventually, we'll put some 55-ton uh, 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 cars here, the uh, coal cars here, in order to offload the ash. And then we'll haul that ash away. Uh, then over here, we have our roundhouse, where we only have uh, two trains in it right now. Or is that one train split in half? This is one train split in half. Okay, so we have one train sitting in there. Uh, waiting. Uh, that'll be Duke. He's our empty, just like he is on the uh, uh, Tidewater part. Uh, and then if we come back here, just a little more quick overview of what we're looking at here. Way over this way, well, not way over, is our uh, Avis Yard. Avis Yard is where I uh, have my incoming engines. Uh, this one came from Clifton Forge. Uh, so he's just waiting uh, till, uh, you know, so we can break his train up. And then we have four other trains sitting over here. Yeah, and they're all waiting as well. They came in from off map, uh, all the different places that are off map. Uh, and eventually we'll be cutting those up and, uh, you know, setting them out as well. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, and we're going to start with our buddy Graham right here. Graham has got the diesels. That's loud. Hey, hold on. I gotta turn it down again. All right, so it was loud, but I turned it down on mine. Hopefully, it's not too loud on your eye. Just test. It seemed like it was all right. All right, so uh, Graham is working these uh, right up here. Now, let me look up what uh, Graham's uh, work orders are right now. Uh, okay, so he's working these uh, lumber here. He's got the Hinton Swift and companies doing that as well. Uh, he's just doing those two industries. So uh, really, this one here should have been empty. I should have went in and uh, emptied this one out because I'm supposed to be working this one right now and they're offloading this. So uh, I'm going to put you guys on hold for just a second and I'll empty them out. Okay, so let's move on here now with... Uh, whoops, no, I forgot to do that. Hold on now. There we go. Let's move on uh, with uh, episode one of CNO Hint. All right, so you can see here now all the lumber has been offloaded here at the uh, Hinton Freight. Uh, they take lumber and goods. Uh, just give you a quick overview of what's going on here now. now th these box cars here were unloaded earlier. Uh, these all had lumber on it too. They're all unloaded earlier. And then the other business that we're working here uh, is this one right here, uh, which is uh, the Swift and Company, Hinton Swift and Company, and they are a cattle processing uh, company. And you can see here, these two cars here have been offloaded now. And this one here, not so much. Uh, so that's really all that uh, Graham has to do right now uh, is uh, go over there and set that one car out. And his, uh, his uh, job will be done for the moment. So let's uh, 
set the parking brake. Let us decouple. Turn on the bell. I bought these K&L trains or somebody. I don't know. I forget, but they're really good engines. I love these uh, a whole lot. I think I want to go forward at this point. It's hard to tell. No, I want to go backwards. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Now, uh, I had, at the beginning, when I was still working through things, I had one of these uh, engines on there. But this is a horrific hill. <laughs> Coming up here to these hitting businesses. And there were times when I would have, you know, maybe five or six cars. Uh, and these engines could not, or the one engine could not push it up. So I decided we're going to double up. And then I have another two sets. Uh, Graham really works the industries here in Hinton and Avis. And then we have uh, Thomas. And Thomas is the one that does uh, most of the shunting. He breaks up the trains and puts them on the tracks where they need to be. So I got two sets of uh, shunters working in this area. These are the only two sets of diesel engines that I have on the whole route. I'm, I'm going the wrong way again, ain't I? I am okay. There we go. Let, let, there we go. I got to be looking at it to make sure I'm not messing up. All right. This way, uh, no, we want to go this way over to here, past hitting hardware, hitting uh, fruit pl people. And, then, and this is a coal dump up here because people used to use coal to uh, heat their houses and stuff. Uh, so this is a coal dump. That's why the track's going up like that so it can go up and then uh, dump the coal. Makes it easier. All right, so riding along with Graham here. Up we go. There's the roundhouse down below us here that I was showing you earlier. There's the river. The river runs the length of the thing. I've also upped my graphics to just about as high as they can go, and it still seems to be relatively smooth, so I'm happy with that. Just to warn the uh, working folks here in Hinton that I'm coming through. I don't want to run anybody over. This fellow right here with his big hat and that guy with his big hat. Oh, yeah, that's a that's an early, early truck there. Here he comes. About right there. That should be good. Hook up. Uh oh. Okay, I got it. I got it. Do I? Oh, stop, stop. Oh, I missed. All right, so I got to back it up just a little bit to get the door lined up. Being a little anal here. Little anal. There we go. Back it up just a little bit more. And right, right there. Perfect. Okay, so he set that one car out. That's all he had to do. I'm going to put you guys on pause. I said hold earlier. Like I'm a telephone operator or something. I don't know. But I'm going to put you on pause for a second and find out what our next job is. Now we're up here in Thurmond. Uh, isn't this a beautiful engine right here? Uh, the Southern Pacific. Uh, it was this a 2104, I think, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 2104. Uh, very beautiful engine. This is from, uh, I believe it, uh, this is from uh, Joining Rail. Uh, and this is Andrew. Hey, 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 yeah, Andrew, exciting. So up here in Thurman, turns out the Swift and uh, Company also has a uh, the same exact building, as a matter of fact. And it is awful, also unloading uh, some uh, cattle here. Uh, now here we haven't gotten a whole bunch outside of... Uh, the first place we were at uh hinton uh we do have some you can see here's they got a real huge yard here it's gonna be mostly for coal cars uh here in uh thurmond and that'll eventually will start filling up there's not very many there i mean there's one line there's a lot but altogether there's not uh you know a ton of them and then they have another yard up here on this side and this is where we put all of our box cars 
uh, and uh, uh, reefers and things that, uh, you know, uh, Hinton will be using and a couple other industries up here uh, will be using as well. So this guy's got a real quick job right here. All he has to do is move back. He's got to set out the next car so they can unload these cows. All right, so let's uh, give it some warning bell. Can you hear it? I can barely hear it. How about a couple toots? I hear that. Let's bag it up. I can hear the cows. They seem to be happy. According to their dads, I don't know they'd be happy. But they don't know that. They're just dumb cows. Ah, close enough. Guess I should back up a little bit more, but ah, uh, the the hostlers will do that. Is that what you call people? I don't know, uh, but they will uh, be doing that. All right, so that ends uh, what we're doing, Andrew. Like I said, real, real fast. Okay, put you on pause. And this is where we're at now. Meet Adair. Adair is our passenger service. Yeah, I'm running passenger service on this. Uh, on this uh, route, and he is running the Polar Express engine. I don't know what kind of engine that was. Uh, the exact name of it looks like it's a, what, a 284, maybe? Is that what it is, a 284? Uh, yeah, it looks like I've got two axles there. Yeah, it looks like a 284 is what this one is. Uh, and uh, currently we are at, where are we at? We're at Brooks, uh, the small passenger station here at Brooks. See people are getting ready to wave goodbye to the people on the train. Uh, and, uh, well, another thing too, uh, I got these little cabooses. Uh, I bought those as well. I forget who or where I bought those from. I guess I'm not being a very good trainer right now. I didn't write this all down, but, uh, yeah, these are really cool as well. Uh, the CNO, uh, and then we have these Norfolk and Western. I forget if these came, uh, with the game or not. I don't know. I bought a lot of stuff. I know that. All right, so what we're going to do now is is we are going to send this train off to its next destination, which is, of course, uh, Hinton. It's actually going back into Hinton. Uh, so let's uh, start the bell up. Classic. Yeah, right a track mark. What do I want? I want just hitting, right? Or hitting track mark? Uh oh. Okay, uh. I think I want. Oh, gosh. I think I want hitting track mark. Okay, well, we'll find out when we get down there. Whether he stops in the right spot or not. Really should have named it differently than track mark. But what are you going to do? Here he goes. He's off to Hinton. We're going to stick with him. Up here, you see it says 1552. That's 352 for those people who don't know military time. It's also 352 for people who do know military time, so it's the same. Uh, we're going to stick with him until 55, till that turns to 55, just to give you some uh, shots here. The train working. Let's go on this side to get away from the telephone poles. Although they are nice on this route, too. Let's get rid of this because we don't really need that right now. Now that was for that crossing, and it started too late. Uh, I I got this uh, the whistles I'm talking about now. Uh, I got this uh, track marker that'll do that for you, and it even tells you how far to put away from the tracks depending on the speed. I gotta adjust that one. We just went over, so it's still a work in progress. Comes the next crossing. That one worked perfectly. That one was too long to short and a long. A long right when he gets to about the middle of the intersection. That one worked out nicely.
I activated the line side camera, but right now there is no line side camera set up. Get some different shots, maybe? Better hurry, because it's only got a minute left. <laughs> Next signal's got to have a yellow in it. Got an approach right now? Limited approach? I forget. Not gonna do an action shot. I'll set up an action. Ooh, look at here's the here's the tower. Oh yeah, look, he's on a limited approach. Yeah. I think that's what that is, right? Yellow over red is limited, or is it just approach? I don't know. Let's get a, let's get an action shot right down here. Here we go. Look at that. Ah, huh? right next to the switch tower. Beautiful. This also is a very very beautiful route. A lot of the routes on here are very nice. I know it's 55. We're gonna wait for it to pass. Uh, is that what you come here for right there? Okay, we're really hopping and popping in this episode. Uh, I'm going to put you on pause. We're going to find out where we're going next. And here we are back with Andrew again. Now, uh, I keep track of what... Uh, train I'm going to go with next in case you don't know this or you forgot it or maybe you haven't watched any of my other videos. I have a spreadsheet. Uh, I have a dual monitor set up and on my spreadsheet I keep track of who to go to next. Um, and because we only have one freight working the entire, uh, one local I should say, working the entire uh, map right now, uh, we're going to pop back to Andrew quite a few times. We're right back when we start again with Andrew. But as the jobs start to pile up, which they're going to start now, uh, we'll get more and more engineers. So we won't always be going back to Andrew every other time. Uh, but right now, that's that's how it is. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, I don't want to see Andrew every other time. Why doesn't this guy do something different? This this may not be the channel for you. You're, you're going to want to probably try uh, somewhere else. All right, so we just got to back him up a little bit more again. Set out the next car. There we go. Let's back it up. Back it up. Get some. There we go. Now seem restless. You're starting to notice all the cows going in there and not coming back out. Uh-oh. That doesn't bode well. All right. Check before we started moving if we had enough room on this track. We did. But I'm going to check again when we're done see if we got another uh, for another car. Okay. And right about there ought to do it. Did I line it up right? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Uh, ah, one more car. Ah, that could be tough. And it should fit, right? It's another car length. It's going to be close. That should fit. But we'll worry about that when we come back to uh, Andrew at uh, a later date. Okay, so that's all with Andrew. Let's find out who's next. Turns out we're sticking with Andrew. We're going to do another load, set out another car here with Andrew. If you're thinking to yourself, uh, how, how's he figuring this out? Don't try to. I got that all under control. You just got to enjoy the view. That's all you got to do. All right. He's only got six of these to set out. Three of them have already been emptied. So we're going to empty one more now. Again, we that room thing. I was like, hey, it'll, it'll do it. It'll do it. I got confidence. Do I, though? Uh, yeah, I do. I do have confidence. Let's go back. I kind of like this view over here. It's a little bit easier to see. A little bit shot of the engine as well. All right, here we go. Let's back it up. Another set out by Andrew. Exciting. Boy, I, 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 ooh, I beefed that a little too much. Oh, I think it's going to fit. Never tried this before, so I don't know if it fits three cars or not. Right there. Let's take a look. Let's see what happened. I was worried for nothing. Look at that. Look at that distance we still got. Okay, so that's fine. Andrew has now set that one out. Uh, and, uh, yeah, where is Andy? Is he in here somewhere? Oh, there's no model of the, of the engineer in there. I thought there was. 
Eh, well, okay, whatever. Uh, Andrew's in there somewhere. He's probably hiding in the uh, firebox or something. So, uh, again, let's put you on pause. Let's, I don't know. Maybe we're coming right back to Andrew. Let's find out. So, Graham here has got some work to do. Uh, he just finished up his last uh, job here. And he was working the industries here in uh, Hinton. Uh, he now has all three of these unloaded, the uh, stock cars. And now he's got to take the stock cars. He's got to take all these box cars here, box cars, flat cars, all these from Hinton uh, Freight. And they're going to be run all the way down the hill and put onto the ready track. Did you call that thing? I don't know. But they're going to be get reclassified. All of them are going to get reclassified uh, <clears throat> when it's time. Uh, and uh, that is going to be the job of Thomas. Uh, Graham just drops him off. That's all he does. We got lots of room on this track. There should be enough room to get uh, that filled up. So let's go back to Graham here. We're going to get Graham moving. We're going to start uh, doubling up, tripling up his uh, train here. I think it's forward at this point, right? Forward? Nope. <laughs> Backwards. My bad. Okay, so he's going to back those out. Here's the three stock cars. Okay. He's going to back it down all the way down to this track right here. Wait for him here? Yeah, what the heck, why not? Uh, and then once he comes down here, we're going to have him go up this way, and he'll grab onto these. Then he'll pull those forward, grab onto these. Then he'll pull these forward, grab onto these. Then we'll come down. There's another switch that he can't see off screen here, and then we'll go up to here. Hopefully there's enough power, there should be, to get him to move, because that's, like I said before, that's a pretty steep hill. And you know what? Well, let's let's uh, go. Let's hook up first here. So I'm wondering also down the track here, are there other switches that I need to throw because the train's going to be relatively long-ish. As far as, you know, just a local yard train goes. Right. Kill the uh, bell. Here he comes. Once he drops these off, he's got uh, quite a few uh, cars in the yard to pick up. 50 some cars to pick up he's going to set the, all those cars out those are, they're all deliveries all right got the brakes on but it's taking a little bit to break this way and then that no 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 this way there we go okay now uh looking back down the track this way is where i was concerned with yes 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 i think this one switched the wrong way it is uh this one that's correct that's correct no way he's going to get that long. Okay. I'm being I'm being way too cautious right now. All right. Let's see him uh, get back up this hill now. A little bit of a push, but he's got it. After we pick these other ones up, I wonder if he's going to be able to push that up. I don't know. We'll see. He's got him going at eight miles an hour. I got him set for going at ten. At that nine now, so it's not too bad. It's only three cars. Maybe I'm getting a little too excited about it. Right, here we go. Nice coupling. Beautiful. Did we just bounce off the thing. I think we did. That, that kind of looked like it bounced, didn't it? All right. All right. So we're pulling these out. And we're going to get this cut right here next to it. Still have about one, two, three cuts to pick up.
So he's got, like I said, he's got some uh, cars to pick up. He's going to be working uh, three different places here in Hinton. He's going to be working Hinton New River Grocery, which is way back over there, uh, back in this area here. He's going to be working Hinton Hardware, which is this one right here. And he's going to be working Hinton Freight, which is this uh, area right here. Why am I making him go so slow right now? Afraid not going to have enough oomph. Ah, stuff your oomph. Ready? Stop it right there. Feel the brakes. Feeling some more. Yeah, he's having a hard time stopping there. It's only going to get harder, pal. All right, here we go. And let's bring it back up. Am I going the wrong way again? I am. <laughs> Why can I not remember what direction he's supposed to be going in? Now we got to hit the brakes again. A better railroader than this. There we go. Push it up the hill, pal. He's got it at one mile an hour. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Going two miles an hour, that's twice as fast as he was going a little while ago. Now it's three times as fast. This hill's a killer. These ancient engines. We'll see after he couples up here and he pulls it back down if, if it's going to be. This wasn't too bad, but if he's going to really struggle, we'll have him run these <clears throat> first set down and come back up for the last two. Okay. Got these. Pull all these out. Got a merchandise dispatch here for Western Pacific, and then the old nickel plate road. All right, back over this way now. There you go. Doing a little bounce in there. Hard to maneuver with this cliff here on my left. All right, probably start slowing down now because it's going to take him a while to get it to come to a stop. Got to push it back up this hill. They're not going to be happy about it. So let's slow down a lot more this time instead of hitting the brakes so hard. Okay. We got a good crawl right now. That's awesome. Come on, just inch it a little bit more. It's got to be clear. There we go. Stop. Holy moly. Get a thought. Where am I? Oh, yeah. I'm going up this way. <laughs> Why am I so confused right now? Okay, now what kind of clearance we got on this one? Oh, we got a lot. You've got a huge bump. No problem. We're gonna be able to, or if he makes it up, I don't know. All right, juice it, baby. He's a little engine that could. Right now, it looks like he's a little engine that could not. It's moving, I can barely see it, but it is moving. Maybe we want to run it down. What if I give him even more power? Down there, see what they're doing. You guys can't push this up, huh? Not really. Oh, okay. All right. So you just see with one engine it was worse. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna run this one back down the hill here. No, no, no. Run it back down the hill, moron. There you go. Run it back down the hill. We'll put these on the side track. We'll come back to the last, last two cuts. right along with him but not right in his face like that back off and let's get rid of all of them. Now you can see I have them all set well they should have been how come these aren't <laughs> they're all set for a nun so let me uh go back here 
talking about the destinations here. Should be set for none. Like this should have been set for none. Probably started at the back. Yeah, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Oh no, it says all three. Okay, so we're gonna tag it as none. There we go. Now they're all as none, all the way down. No, nope. bunch of nuns. All right, so uh, oh, go the other way. There we go. Now we're back at the top edge. Pull this one back down. Put it on these uh, reclassification tracks. This one and this one. Uh, two tracks here are classification tracks. That's what I'm calling them. That's where I put my uh, ones that had made deliveries. And now i got to find somewhere else for them to go. Uh, and this one here, actually, they, they offload lumber on this track. They offload uh, engine oil. Or is it just diesel? I don't know. It's something. All right, so Graham's making his way down here. Sit that right here. He worked these cars earlier. Can't remember where they went, but I'm sure it was something very, very interesting. Right, so we're going to fly over here the one he's got to clear in order to get him on that reclassification train. Uh, yeah. No, we don't want him going that way. We want him going on that way. Right there. There we go. We'll head back up, like I said, and grab those other two. love to do this kind of thing. I could do this all day. What am I talking about? I do do this all day. <laughs> I like to do this all day. Just watch my little trains go around. Cast a signal at danger. Yeah, he likes to live on the edge. That uh, passenger train should be coming in shortly. Oh, Christ. I, I didn't... Uh, I didn't mess that up, did I? I hear he, he's sitting over there right now, as a matter of fact. I can see him. All right. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to do too many things at once. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Is the passenger train uh, coming in right now? He stopped. He's at a red. Is he? Or is this... Oh, you know what I did? This is the hint and track mark. Yeah. He should not have stopped here. Okay, so let's go to him. Yeah, because that's right. Remember, I said I didn't know whether it was a track mark or Hinton. So I said track mark. Wrong answer. Uh, Hinton is for the freight trains coming in. They would wait here until they are given the go to come in. He's supposed to go right to the... Uh... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Sorry, pal. I gave you the wrong direction. Right, I'm going to go back to Graham here. If I can get past this cliff. Here we go. Cliff makes the camera bounce around a bunch. Okay, so now we're going to move this on to the reclassification track, right? So it's this way, then it's this way, right? Why am I having difficult? Here we go. This way, then this way, then that way. Here we go. Okay, I think that's right. If not, we can always roll back. It's good. Here he comes. Give it a push. Of course, now I'm thinking, did he go on this other track? He did go on the other track. It makes it harder to push, but he's not in the way of the uh, steam engine. The passenger train should get, be able to get by there. We'll see what happens. Sounds like he's slowing down. Okay, I got to go into the wrong track. Beautiful. All right, so uh, I thought something was wrong there. Okay, so we're gonna actually we're gonna move him forward, and we're gonna move him past this point anyway, uh, past this switch, and then we're gonna back it out that way. So the passenger train doesn't have to work. There he goes. Passenger train now is safe. Oh, don't got it further. Oh, okay. here goes the passenger. 
Go further, we haven't cleared the point yet. Following that switch out. What did I do over here? Oh, I put it on the right track. I'm flustered. I am flustered. Okay, so there goes the passenger train. That's fine. I got it on the right track. Yeah. What in the hell is wrong with me? Okay, now we are going to uh, continue to push it back on this track. Okay, we're back on the track. Get a view of the old passenger station. The passenger station's way down here. Past this uh, ice house is down there. I don't know what industry that is right there. He's gonna head down that way. This one here, we're gonna we're gonna let's, let's take a ride on this one right here. And we're gonna ride it back as far as we can get it. I don't think they'll all fit on this first one. Not sure, but we're gonna take a ride back anyway. Not going to hurt to take a ride back because we have more cars to shove onto this track later on anyway. So whether they're all the way to the back or not, that make a difference. Eventually, they'll end up at the back. Take a drink. My delicious drink. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting some. Steam engines behind me. Okay. Uh, let's leave enough room so that we don't hit that. Uh, what did I just say? That's not nearly enough room. Later on, when we couple up to these, uh, we're going to need uh, gotta give it a little room. Impact coupling. Move it up a little bit. Yeah, about right there should be good. There we are. Now let's see. Did we get it all on this one track? Looks like this one's going to be close. Yeah, we're going to take this last stock car off. It's going to be a little too close. We'll get another car down here. That going to be real close. Let's err on the side of safety, shall we? Plus, I get to drive the train more. What? What is wrong with that? Nothing. This switch right here. Onto that track there. Someday you will be reclassified. Got that popping sound. Uh, that's from the engine noise. Of the if it bothers you too much, uh, this may not be the chance. I tried to fix it by uh, doing absolutely nothing that didn't work. So, uh, there you go. Yeah, uh, I was going to say I tried to fix it. I'm thinking to myself, no, I didn't. So I didn't do anything to try to fix it. It doesn't bother me that much. So I'm going I'm to I'm I'm eat with it. Go. Oh, we ended up in the river. Weird how the camera bounces around like this. All right. That's enough for the excitement end of it. Let's pull him back this way now. Let Graham come back here. All right. We're starting to run out of time for this video. Not done yet. We still got about five minutes to go. So. 
We'll see. Can I get up there and grab that cut and bring it back down? I'm going to say yes. I may not be able to do it in five minutes, but I'm not going to end the episode till he does at least that. Come on, back it up a little bit more. And these points are so... Still no? There you go. All right. This is. How did I pull up? What am I doing right now? Am I doing this right? I am not doing this right, am I? Okay, now I'm, I'm going into the yard. All right. Maybe I should end the episode. All right. So let's. Uh, no, 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 no. What I wanted to do this right here. Holy. It's almost like I don't know what I'm doing. Now stop. Now put this. This one goes this way. This one goes this way. Oh, we don't. Now we got it right. Power our way back up the hill. Pass signal 401 in danger. Okay. There he goes. He's heading up the hill. All right. This is set correctly, as I thought it would be. These should all be up. Touch any of those. We're going to come up to here. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to grab onto those. Like we tried to last time, except it didn't work because much weight. Ram it as little as you could handle it. past these steam engines. This time we're gonna uh, on this side we get a little bit better look at it. You can see them. That is beautiful. Don't know why I like this so much. I probably said that in other videos. Why do I like trainsing so much? I don't know, but I really do. It brings joy into my life. Many people tell me I'm weird, I'm strange. Whatever. I don't care. Am I starting to sound like a hermit? <laughs> I don't know. Am I a hermit? I don't think I am. Maybe I am, but I just don't realize it. Nice. Campers? But I've noticed those there's a lot of scenery that I probably haven't noticed. There's those two engines dropping ash again, like we said before. Where does the ash go? Down to those conveyors, and below the conveyors, there's an ash hole. Get it? An ash hole. If you're waiting for the jokes to get any better, uh, you might as well just check some other channel, because they don't, they don't get any better than that. Go. Yeah, we just crossed the 44 minute mark in this video. So I'm thinking we're going to take this cut, take this cut, drag them all the way back down the hill, put them on the tracks, uh, and then we'll probably have him couple up with uh, the Hinton Yard ones first, uh, just so when I start the video again, I'll know right where to, uh, right where I left off. Now, if I should have hooked up to those flat uh, flat cars first, less weight to push back up. But too late. We're locked in now. Well, not too late. We're gonna roll back, but we're not going to. Okay. No. Nope. Back these empties out of here. 
and unloaded at the old Hinton Freight Terminal. Back down they go. Here now, he has to clear this switch right here. That's the one he's got to clear. Can't get down any closer than that because of the cliff. Do a little overhead view here. Then hopefully he's got enough oomph to push it back up the hill to get these last this last cut. Right Who decided to build all these industries up on this hill? Somebody who doesn't have to drive this train, I imagine. Go, switch that over. A little bit to stop that. <laughs> it's way down there. Still hasn't stopped. And zero, there it is. Give it a push. Okay, there we go. We got one mile an hour. You can see where it humps right here. See it goes up quite a bit there. That's going to be a killer part right there. Got to be kidding me. It can't. Put, okay, now it's got two. It's got two miles an hour. All right. Maybe I should just be patient. Not in a hurry. Let's grab onto this car right here and watch it go up. Okay, he's got three. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna let him do it. I'm gonna let him slowly push these cars to the top. This fellas on the right working here. Is that the water treatment plant people? I forget. Here we go. Okay, after he pulls these down, puts these on the uh, classification tracks, the reclassification tracks, we're going to end the video at that point. Uh, it's kind of sad. I like making these videos. It's fun. Uh, plus, it's also sad because while this is rendering, and I get ready for YouTube, i got to clean the bathrooms. I don't want to do that. But you know what? Sometimes life sucks. All right, we're getting up close here now. Got some good oomph now. It just takes him a while to gear up. Load up time is is, uh, is a bit long when it's this heavy uphill, which you would expect, right? Got a good coupling speed going here between three and five, four. Beautiful. There we go. Stop, stop, stop. Now, uh, take me back down the hill. This should go pretty quickly. Downhill's much easier. Ooh, there's a pretty... It just disappeared. you see that? That car just disappeared up there. Probably got to the end of the road. Cars in this game don't seem to want to go through intersections unless you download some ones. Which I don't have downloaded. That's all right. Mostly about the trains, not about the traffic. Oh, okay. Well, now we're at the wrong spot here. Nope, going the wrong way. There we go. We're going to come back down the hill now. This big box out of the way. Are they, They're all set to none, yes? They're all set to none. Perfect. When I look at them later on, I can think to myself, Self, these are all set to none. you got to reclassify them. Good reminder. Again, for, for those of you who don't know, that's the Car Tagger program. You can get that off the download station. Car Tagger for 2019. The only thing 
I don't really like about the car tagger, I should say the only thing, but one of the things I don't like about it is you got to run the game then in compatibility mode, not in performance mode. Train start. Uh, start menu there. So, but I seem to be getting pretty good performance here. I don't know what my frame rate is right now. You get, still get micro jitters and stuff here and there, but I'm not sure if I want a performance mode that would be uh, cured anyway. Alrighty. For all the ones I've set out before here on the right, the ones on the left are all waiting to go to different parts of the map. There's enough cars in there to justify sending a steam engine out that way. That's when we'll send those out. There should be enough length to fit this whole thing on there. Oh yeah, see, you see this one. The end here is already passing this, and this track's almost as long as that one because of the little dip here. Uh, but uh, oh yeah, put these all on there, no problem. Now we come down to these simple yet for me some for some reason difficult uh, switches here. He's got to cross this one. Then when he comes here, it's going to go that way. There, he's going to go that way. I don't see why that's difficult, but I thought I messed it up, and I didn't. Later on, I did. You were all there. You saw it. You saw what happened. here. Conductor jump off. Lovely brake sound. And let's push him forward now. Here he comes. Beautiful. And we are going to Hook it up here to boxcar 95 188. Although all the stock cars, you can see this one has the same number. I usually don't like that, but these are, I really like these because they say C and O on them. It's really why I like them the most. Uh, they're nice models, but uh, they don't have uh, auto numbering. Uh, so. uh, what are you going to do? I think these over here, the nickel plates do, right? Because this one is 15225, and the one behind it, I can't see is uh, 15417. Yeah, see, these are all different numbers here. For whatever reason it is, it brings joy to my heart. Oh, and uh, for whatever reason it is, I'm not paying attention. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, we made it. Very good. Oh, and then it forgets. I'm driving that train. I don't know why. It does that once in a while. Suddenly I lose control of it. All right, so we're going to back this up so it's about even with this car right here. There we go. Uh, also, back then, they didn't have any grain cars. Now, there is there is some grain that you had to move around on this map. Um, what they used to do, according to things that I've seen in videos, is they would take one of these box cars, and on the interior of it, they would uh, put up uh, they would nail some kind of, uh, I don't know, plywood or something to the inside so the grain couldn't leak back out. And then they'd fill the boss cars up with grain. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I went and got myself uh, some grain cars. Uh, I think they're two bays. And I'm just going to use those. So when you see those later on, you're like, that's not period correct. Yeah, you're right. It's not. I just couldn't bring myself to put grain in a box car. Why? I don't know. 
something inherently wrong with it. Both the green cars and stuff. Alright. Go. Right there. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, so after this, uh, Ram, uh, in episode two, is going to go back. He's going to go over here to track number one, which is the track right over here. Pick up some stuff. And then there's track number six. This is four right here. So six is behind us. And he's got some stuff that's got to go over to the Avis yard as well. So uh, <laughs> I hate to leave, uh, leave you on a cliffhanger like this, you know, with all that action coming up. But I'm afraid I'm going to have it. So I hope uh, you enjoyed yourself. Thanks for watching. Give me a like if you like it. Why don't you subscribe? That'd be nice, too. Uh, but if you don't want to, that's fine, because uh, that just means that this is uh, not the channel for you. 